Hello. Welcome. Today in this video we are going to create a flight booking system using Python. This app lets you add flights, view available flights, book seats, pay for tickets, and generate ticket receipts. So let's start the video. This block defines a flight class. Each flight has a unique code, a number of seats, and a ticket price. The constructor stores these values so the system can reference them easily. Think of this class as a small data container for a single flight. This block defines the flight booking system class. It initializes a dictionary to hold all flights and a ticket ID counter. This sets up the main system state to track flights and tickets throughout the app's runtime. The add underscore flight method takes the flight code, seat count, and ticket price as inputs. It then creates a new flight object and stores it in the flight's dictionary using the flight code as the key. This design allows fast lookup and ensures each flight is uniquely identified. The view underscore flights method loops through all flights stored in the system and prints their code, remaining seats, and ticket price. This gives the user a clear and organized view of all available flights, so they can decide which flight to book. The book underscore seat method is the heart of booking functionality. It first checks if the given flight code exists and has seats available. If so, it decrements the seat count, prints a success message, and returns the ticket price. If not, it informs the user that the seat is unavailable and returns none. This ensures no overbooking occurs and users get immediate feedback. The pay method simulates payment processing. It simply prints a confirmation message showing the amount paid. In a real system, this is where payment gateway integration would occur, but for simplicity, this method acts as a placeholder for successful transactions. The generate underscore ticket method prints a visually structured ticket receipt. It displays the ticket ID, flight code, amount paid, and booking status. Finally, it increments the ticket ID for the next booking, ensuring each ticket is unique. This is like handing a virtual boarding pass to the user. Here we instantiate the flight booking system, which will hold all flight and ticket data and handle user interactions throughout the program. This final block is the interactive menu loop. It repeatedly displays options to add flights, view flights, book and pay, or exit the program. Each choice is handled by a conditional statement. Booking includes payment confirmation and ticket generation. The loop continues until the user selects exit, making it the main command center of the app where all user interactions happen.